It's just about go time at the two-wheel drive buggy Insanity Off-Road Championship. I'm your host, Cam Cohen, and beaming in from Southern California, I'm joined by Sammy the Killer Moran. It's colder than a blend of dry ice and acetone inside this awesome barn. As we look at how we got here, Sammy, where does your radical nickname come from? Hey, Cameron. So basically, the name came about at Coyote Hobbies back in 2014 when I first started. I actually got the name from Dave Botta, the owner of Coyote Hobbies. It was mainly due to my my attitude to everybody, I was very shy, kept to myself, kind of ironic. On the track, I was a pretty aggressive driver. <laughs> in round one, I did okay. In round two, I took it down. In round three, I made a bad tire choice. For this one, I'm really hoping to win the point series, but it's really close between me, Jack, and Braden in the points, so it could go either way. The tire choice is everything with the cold track. Conditions are very Thanks to my parent, Ron from Cruising with RCs for all the help he's done over the years. Brayden and Liam for all the help. Liam lent me a tire heater because we forgot ours at home. The place is called Insanity, right? You know, you gotta be insane to come out here, you know? Honestly, I've never really been to a place where like I've had to do like so much to my tires just to get them to work. I'm never gonna catch Brayden. He's just way too fast. I had a good shot last time. I actually got out to an early lead and then I got all caught up and I'm like, oh great, oh my God, how am I in the lead? And I was thinking so much about that. I ended up wrecking a few times and I ended up getting for it. My goal with that is just if I ever do get in the lead, to stay focused and just focus on my race. Shout out to Race Ready Products. It sponsored me all year. Bought like a whole bunch of stuff in bulk at like the beginning of the season and it's lasted up to this point. I still got like two gallons of TQ clean left, so. This RRL RC presentation is brought to you in part by A-Main Hobbies, your RC off-road headquarters. Free shipping on eligible orders. And by Naughty Boy RC. Keep it naughty. Click the links in the description to shop. Have to give a shout out to Brian Lee, the owner of Insanity RC Racetrack, for all the great work he's done to prepare us for this event. The A Main starting grid has Garrett Crescitelli in TQ position, followed by Braden Bonchi. That's going to be the battle to look at in this one. Green flag racing. Oh. Wow. Federico Lupo on his lid out of the gate. He's a first time racer with us. Oh, oh goodness. The white buggy at Tom Manila goes flying. What a messed up start for the back of the pack. Sammy, have you ever been part of a race like this? Oh, yeah, many. What's your mentality if you have an early crash? It's been a learning process for sure, but try not to let it get to you. And I try to push, push hard and stay smooth. We get our first look at the front of the field. Chris Kirk running in third, making his debut race with the AEB 6.4D. He also picked up an SC 6.4 in the month of November because it's his birthday month. Sammy, as a new racer for Team Associated, you had the chance to get your hands on the all new two wheel drive buggy, the B7. What are your initial impressions? I actually built it pretty close to box stock. Only thing I changed was play shock oil and move the battery forward. And the balance of the whole car was just amazing. It was just felt one to one front to rear, tons of traction, the car stayed really flat had tons of corner speed compared to my 6.4. Very excited and can't wait to get to the big events with this car. Oh man, that double just did Kirk dirty. That'll shake up the top three. Yeah, that's a rough one. Got a little loose in that corner and then uh, got tapped by the other buggy. Our top two still intact. Crescitelli and Banshee come across the screen. And now insert Wiley veteran Jack Benam in third place. He's three points behind Banshee for first overall in this championship. He's running the TLR 22 3.0 with oh, a yeah. concept front and open cell rehab rear tires. You have some history with the Team Lozzy Racing family, Sammy. Talk me through that transition in the offseason to AE. I ran for Team Lozzy Racing for probably eight years. I I've had great success with them, and thanks to Thomas Tran and everybody over there. I just felt like it was time for a change. I just loved the way Team Associated is super innovative, tons of teamwork. Another plus for when I went to Associated is I could work with my close friend, Davey Botta. He was a huge help. Just awesome stuff. Hey, if you're trying to reel in that guy in front of you, in this case, Braden Dommel over Benoit, um, what's your philosophy? With about three minutes left, I would probably say keep a good distance between the person in front of you and try not to push anything till towards the, the end, the last minute or so. Here comes Kirk in sixth, trying to put a move on me in fifth. It's been a while since I won any kind of event in two-wheel drive buggy. I just said no to Kirk and I say no to crack. 
Yeah, it looks like you just got a little loose and you came in and tapped uh, your rear tires. Yeah, I've been banging on my B6.1D for a while. I think it's time to take this buggy out to pasture. <laughs> that will hurt Kirk, though, drop him further back in fifth place. Crescitelli took that turn a little too wide. One and two now neck and neck down the straightaway, dealing with lap traffic, trying to give this field a good buy look. What's your mentality with lap traffic in a race? Lap traffic can definitely be a challenge sometimes. Just try to be cautious, slow down your pace a little bit until uh, you feel comfortable to pass them, especially if the announcer doesn't call it as much. Less than two minutes to go in really what's been a heart-pounding race if you're just joining us. Garrett Crescitelli in his AEB 6.1D trying to do the impossible. He needs a TQ, he got the race win, and the fastest lap to overtake Braden Banchi in his Kyosho RB7 to win the championship. These two kids are flying. Lap 14, just now, Crescitelli owns the fastest lap with a 13.6, narrowly beating Banchi out by about 0.2 seconds. Yeah, it looks very fast paced too. With almost a minute to go in oh. a mistake. That's me. I caught Crescitelli bad. That's his dad, Bob, fired up. Banchi now takes the lead over. Oh, but only for a moment as Banchi goes into the cushion. Crescitelli will take back over first. Just pure insanity at Insanity RC with one minute to go. Oh, yeah. Over the jump section, and there goes Banchi at the hard spill. He landed right on the lip. That will cost him. Talk about making mistakes late in races, Sammy. I would feel like frustrated probably in the moment, but uh, I've definitely gotten a lot better with handling those, those situations. Yeah, just trying to keep a level head and everything in racing is huge. Yeah, and Crescitelli has really done a good job of that in this event today. That lap 14 proving to be the X factor as we take a look back at the incidents on that long lap for both of our top two racers. Nothing like two-wheel drive buggy. I would say it's probably the most prestigious class. It's just one of the hardest classes to drive to. If you can accomplish something in two-wheel drive buggy, it's saying something. On screen, we see the action for third. Dommel in the Traxxas Bandit heating up Banam. This will be the final lap. And it'll also be the final lap for our race winner, Garrett Crescitelli. Call him Garrett the Great. He's the two-wheel drive buggy champion. Banam hangs on to third. And what a feeling for Crescitelli on his victory lap here. It's super exciting. Like, you just have this, like, adrenaline rush, and, like, you just feel, like, on top of the world. Here's the Naughty Boy RC A main result. Sammy, I know you're typically racing on these glued-sealed, high-traction type of tracks, but what do you make of this event? Ah, it looks like a lot of fun. The final point standings are in, and in a shocker, Crescitelli jumps two spots to be your series champ via a tiebreaker. This caught racers by surprise, too. I thought I was going to get second. I thought I had to get first, and Brain had to get third. But apparently, it worked out in a tie, so it went to fast lap, and I had the most fast laps in all the rounds. It's all about tire selection. My car setup, most tires, as long as we heat them, saw them, will have amazing grip. But the issue I was struggling with was front traction. I had so much rear traction and my car is consistent, but sometimes I would have no front grip where I wouldn't be able to make it around corners. So that made it tough in some rounds. It's a battle between me and Braden. I meant half the race, me and him were neck and neck. We swapped back a couple times. There's one point where I crashed and Braden went past and then he crashed again and it evened itself back out a big reliever for me because I was worried that he was going to break away from that point and take the win. I'd say it was a pretty good race. I thought it was going to be good because everyone was saying that if I got third, I would get second overall. If I got first or second, I was fine. So I was just keeping track of Jack behind me, making sure that I wasn't in third. But because I got second there, it cost me. I ran all five classes, which may have not been a very smart decision. It puts a lot of pressure on me because I have a lot of stuff to do. and a lot of stuff to keep track of and it's just constant racing, martial racing, stuff like that. Well, thanks to God, thanks to my parents, thanks to everyone in this hobby that has helped me out, especially when I like break stuff and when I need tires. I mean, honestly, I don't want to take a break, but I don't want to race in the cold again. 
Here's a last look at our point standings. Crescitelli, the series champ. That's awesome. He's probably super stoked about that one. Can't forget about our bottom five. Sure are some of these racers in the witness protection program, maybe, but they all got points. <laughs> you thought two-wheel drive was good. Wait until four-wheel. Sammy, best of luck at the J-Concepts INS 14. <laughs> Thanks, man. We'll talk at you soon for sure. For Sammy, the killer Moran, I'm Cam Cowan saying thanks for watching.